the royal family closely guards its private lives and the queen does what she can to preserve and safeguard the reputation of the monarchy. In 2009, the Daily Telegraph reported that Her Majesty authorized a crackdown on the paparazzi amid intrusions into the private lives of the royal family. The Queen and Prince Charles instructed Gerard Turrell, a senior lawyer specializing in privacy and media law, to mastermind the privacy strategy. Mr. Turrell is known to have briefed senior royal aides on a series of options in the event of photographers continuing to take photographs of the royal family in private situations. Following the crackdown, 2005 documentary Chasing the Royals reveals that the Queen's lawyers threatened legal action over private pictures taken of the Duchess of Cambridge, who at the time was only Prince William's girlfriend. Kate was photographed during a Christmas holiday with her family at Resormal Manor in Cornwall, playing tennis on Prince Charles's courts. Media organisations in the UK accepted the request from Buckingham Palace not to publish the pictures, but they appeared in the German press. The photographer who took the shots, Neeraj Tana, said in the documentary that the royals do not want any private, unofficial photographs released to the press whatsoever. So they are clamping down like there is no tomorrow. If I'm on a public footpath, I would assume it is all fine. It has been okay up to now, and suddenly, the goalposts have been changed. Now, I photograph exactly where I am even if it's a public road I put it on a map, exactly where I have been standing, what I have been doing I have even got witnesses. Despite his carefulness, Mr. Tana's path crossed Kensington Palace once more in 2014, when the lawyers of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge asked him to cease harassing their first-born Prince George. A Kensington Palace statement said they were prompted to take legal action after the man was spotted near George and his nanny in a park in central London. Lawyers for the photographer, Neeraj Tana, claimed he had done nothing wrong and would continue with his work, 